We're at the three-point contest. We have Brent Witter and Jason Mar Bars from Random Lake. Chris Wright along with uh, Jeff Wolf. Uh, we're gonna be uh, covering an all-star game in a little bit. Uh, kind of a neat thing that we're having out here today, Jeff. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a great opportunity for, for these guys who thought their high school careers were over to come back and uh, get together and uh, play a little bit more basketball and with either with teammates or pe people that they've played against or wanted to play against uh, in the past and might have done it a, as youngsters, but now we have all divisions here and uh, we're starting out with this three-point contest, which is, you know, checking the, who's the best shooter out there in the county and who's, who's going to have the best uh, opportunity to come out here and show it. Yeah, and I don't think it's Jason Bars on our left here. I think that is uh, Joe Lemonez from Sheboygan Christian. Uh, Brent Witter is is on the far court right there. We're not quite sure how many points. The top two scores in this event will move on to an all-star, or excuse me, a finals event. They have 25 shots they have to get off in a minute and a half. And uh, Jeff, just watching these two guys, I'm tired just watching them shoot all these shots. <laughs> Lucky they're young <laughs> because uh, by the time this is over, they'll get up a lot of shots. But you know, th this is a great opportunity to get out in front of a crowd and show off a little bit of your shooting skills. That's Nick Larson, he's from Sheboygan South. Uh, we got no, Zach. he had over 40 shots. And then uh, Zach Bauer from Elkhart Lake is shooting in the corner uh, on the, uh, I guess you could call it the north end. So you got the opportunity to put in each, of the, I believe that each of the four, four or first made baskets are worth one point and then the money ball would be your fifth shot and give you two points. Yeah, kind of like they do in the uh, regular All-Star game. They get five shots from five spots. Here you get, it's a little different because they're not taking the ball off a rack. They're uh, being rebounded and, and passed to it. So, it can, you know, if you catch it in rhythm, I think it gives you yeah. an advantage of having to have just pull it off a rack that, yeah. you know, it's not a normal shooting uh, position. And uh, so if you can get in rhythm, I think you can do a good job out here. Yep. Nice, simple, uh, should be a left-right. Nice step right into your shot. Uh, Zach from Elkhart Lake goes a little bit the opposite way <laughs> from uh, traditional right-left. <laughs> well, Nick Larson is just hitting everything. Down yeah, here. he's a good shooter. I know he had over 40 uh, three-pointers this year uh, for, Co for Coach Shaw at South. We'll see Nick in the All-Star game as well. We will not be seeing Zach uh, from Elkhart Lake. We're down to 17 seconds. And both of the competitors are finished. We're not getting scores updated to us. You know, it's a great idea, Chris, for these guys to get out here and, and do something like this on a county-wide basis. And, uh, you know, it'll be a learning experience for everybody. You get out here in the first year and you figure out what works and what doesn't, and uh, you move from there. But uh, hopefully this will become an annual thing for the, uh, the boys, and hopefully you can get something going for the girls, too. Blake Pedren, that's the shooter right there on the south end. He's from Howard's Grove. Howard's Grove had an outstanding season. And on the other end, uh, Matt Seiselwitz, he's from Kiel. Now, they haven't played some of these kids basketball for about a month. So, <laughs> kind of interesting if, you know, probably you don't get all the great shooting that they've, they've had well, over a, a long time, because especially at these small schools, a lot of these kids move on to, you know, play, other sports. Yeah, track or, you know, baseball's now in the spring for all the sports and golf. Well, hopefully they've been able to get in the gym somewhere or just get out on the yeah. outside. You know, although the weather hasn't been great, you know, if you, how badly do you want it? You want to get out there and get some shots up and prepare for, to do your best out here? That's, you know, that's a lesson for anybody. I mean, you don't have to get a, a, a in, indoor basketball court. I mean, you get out there and shoot in the driveway. Like, <laughs> what I've a heard, concept. I still tell that story to my my students. We went to camp. One of the great stories from Coach Wolf when we went to camp was, I see a lot of basketball hoops in the county, but I don't see a lot of people using them. That's, that's unfortunate because, you know, they, you can have all the greatest equipment in the world and the best basketball and shoes and everything else, but if you don't get out there and practice, doesn't mean anything. Right, and I always 
I still tell my uh, my students that all the time, Coach. Tell them that they should go out there and use them. There's a nice crowd here today, Chris, for the, uh, the first year of this. And nice to see the people out here supporting it. And oh, yeah. It's, uh, all right, now we have uh, Delvin Barnstable. He's the big shooter, three-point shooter for Sheboygan Lutheran that led them to a state championship. He can shoot it. Yes, he can. And then we have Alex Schmidt. That's Alex Schmidt. He's from the Falls. Both these young men will be playing in the game. Falls had a nice season as well. 16 and 8. The thing when you're shooting these shots out here is that, you know, you don't have to shoot a real jump shot. I think that, you know, when you're shooting, just get a nice, comfortable rhythm going, follow through, and we're both doing a nice job out here doing that right now. I think they're both in rhythm. Just remember the follow through. The more you get tired, the more difficult that seems to be. Drop the hands, drop a little bit, and you end up shooting short a lot of times. There's Delvin right there. Like I said, he. He's only off about three weeks since the last time he played in the state final, so. He's got a high arching shot. Yeah, he loves the corner. This is his spot right here. Bingo. Coming down in the last few seconds. I want to hit that money ball. It gives you two points there. That's yep. the fifth one. That Our last two competitors, this is uh, Ethan Wanser. He's from Cedar Grove. And uh, Mitch Weicker from Ozaki will be on the south end. This is Ethan right here. rhythm get, get the important too to get a good pass from yep. the guys that are out here rebounding for you well, I think they're it. probably pretty good passers at this level a lot of lefties out here yeah I haven't seen many left-handed guys all in one spot at one time in a while. Don't tell Mike Martin that. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ethan getting a couple in there. A little bit of a rhythm there. Hold that follow through up. Money ball, getting tired. Last seconds. And here's the total. We'll see what we got. We're going to have a final two. Tabulating the results. Maletsky, athletic director out here. She was one of the scores. Also, no, you know she'll be right. <laughs> Penny, does, Penny does everything. First class, first rate. She'll get it right. Coach Greenwood, men's coach out here. They had a nice season. They lost in the finals. They had a lead in the uh, state championship game, UW Sheboygan, and. Uh, Ended up losing a close game. He's done a real nice job out here in reviving the interest in the program. And, uh, you know, 
be great if, if people would come out and support it because um, you know I think it's vital for the our community uh, in the Sheboygan area to have a vibrant university and uh, you know now it's part of the, you know the Green Bay campus and the, the Sheboygan campus of the Green Bay uh, institution of uh, higher learning and uh, it'd be great to people come out here and support the Wombats. Well, I know Coach Greenwood gets to a lot of high school games too, which I think is uh, very important. Get his, get himself out there. Blake Pendrick from uh, Howard's Grove. And he'll be taking on Brent Witter. No Sheboygan. surprise there, the way he can shoot. Yep. Both these guys are good shooters, so this should be quite competitive. During the first round, you kind of get your feet wet, kind of get comfortable out there. Let's face it, not everybody. Oh, uh -oh. three-way, here we go. I thought he might be in there the way he was shooting. You got that right. So uh, north-south, Nick Larson makes it as well, and he ties. We'll see what happens in the finals here. Tired? Will these kids be tired on the second round, or is it just... Not like the NBA where they, that all-star where they have to do what, like three or four rounds? I would, I would say with their youth, they should be all right. <laughs> but if you do get a little tired, you just got to make sure your legs are, you know, yep. you got to keep, you start losing your legs, you got to keep your legs, get your power. And that right there is Blake Pedrin. So he made one there and another. Brent's got a couple as well. Blake's on a roll. These guys are hitting now. All, all of them making a bunch here. That money ball is so important. The fifth shot, you get that two points for one shot. I know that Brent, this is Blake here. Brent is a gym rat. There's Brent. He is there early in the morning shooting ever since he was a freshman. He's got nice form, nice release, high release, good follow through. Blake's making a bunch here as well. And there's the big, big one there. And Blake moves down to last spot. Brent kind of steering him in there. Got it to go. 25 seconds on the clock. Got, oh, and Brent, or Brent looks a little tired. <laughs> Have to tell his baseball coach more running. Played a doubleheader yesterday in Kakana. Boy, that's nice smooth stroke. by uh, Brent Witter. Yes, nice finish. Ooh. See what Nick Larson, Nick Larson had a big first round. He's gonna be the, going here. Playing at South, and they, they know how to shoot the three. Three for three. Four for four. <laughs> wow. Oh. I wonder if Nick will take a few of these in the game, Coach, because he's got it red hot. You might be too tired by then. <laughs> ah, they're young. They, they can bounce back quicker. He's shooting it well, though. No form breaks. Nice release out in front. Nice oh, follow wow. through. Dang. He, he got them that, all. That, that, he was doing that in the first round, too. So yeah. I was surprised when I didn't hear his name, but glad he's in it because he's, he's going to win it. He's putting on the <laughs> exhibition. Wow. I think Nick Larson is going to be your champ. Wow. Wow. 
And, oh my. Wow. That is some shooting right that there. That was great shooting. That was outstanding. I think he only missed two the whole round. Hopefully he'll be playing somewhere maybe here. He needed that last shot, Coach, to fall to win it. 25 to 23. Nice way to start the day afternoon with right. great shooting exhibition. Right. When we'll be back, we'll be having more basketball action. So we'll take a break. <laughs> 